Hi, this is Adam from ProCAD. Uh, today we're going to look at assigning an item to uh, an inventor assembly within Vault. So I have a, an assembly here, catch assembly. So this catch assembly has these three associated parts. So if I right click on this catch assembly and select assign slash update item, this will assign an item to the catch assembly itself. So this here is the item window. Uh, attached to the item now we have the assembly and the IPN and IDW files. Uh, our tab, next tab here is history, there is no history yet because I just created the item. This tab here is the bill of materials, so down the left here we have the part number, the title. Um, so we can actually add some fields to this, so if I right click and select customize view and select fields, we can add say for example material and add it there and if I hit OK you can see the material associated with each of these parts, in this case generic, can be added. So you can add a number of other properties here such as sheet size, uh, color, materials, various whatever it you need. So where use tab we just have the assembly itself. Uh, change order if you're using lifecycle management you'd use change orders to update files for reviewing and approving and stuff. Here in the view tab we can view the associated files, again we have a list of associated files here and lastly we have the data sheet which is fairly customizable which can be added to each item. Uh, so if I just save this now and close, so now we can see this symbol here and indicates that there is an item associated with each of these files. Down here in the bottom left we have Project Explorer which we're used to looking at your files. Underneath we have the Item Master, so this is just a large repository of all the items which are associated with your files in your Project Explorer.